and a couple of guys burnt out in this. No, no, I'll right. keep an eye out for hey, Zeke, how's it going? Freak See you around. Hey, Damon, how's the gun trade going? What? Not enough credits? I'll be seeing you. They call him that for a reason. My ass has been parked here for the past year. Nothing out in the shit but a whole lot of sorry. You see all the venison we have now? Thanks to that drifter. Whew, time for venison stew, and we almost have enough for everyone. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Should do it. I'm gonna stretch my legs for a while. I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. Okay, let's go. You're back. It's good to see you again. Jazzy, how's it going? Deacon St. John. Hey, Damon. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, Manny? Your bike could use an upgrade. This should last you for a while. You don't want to run out of fuel in the shit, that's for sure. Don't be a stranger.
How's it going, booze man? Fine, God damn it. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. We need some more meat if you can get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunt. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Remember what you're doing? Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers. Believe it or not. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't believe it. Thanks, Deke. See you, booth man. A book. Time to dinner. All right, now I just gotta find some meat. Uh, deer, bear, wolf. Oh, fuck, don't matter. Me. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up with these here points. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. Okay, I built my first tree house to use as a deer up. blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay in ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. But grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. A snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come around. But careful. The snake can still bite, especially when it ain't really dead. My grandfather would not lift us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Hey, Gold so you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. That's real sporting. Guess none of that shit matters now. There we go. Use everything. Get in there. Ah, fresh meat. That ought to do it. Okay, I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Mass grave. I keep forgetting it's so close to O'Leary Mountain. 
Don't ask me how. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not the doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, you can't How long are we going to be here? hear that? Lieutenant O'Brien, field note 2006. On approach to the landing site, I observed a large swarm of insects, probably Demonis Atronis or Vintera, in a clearing well away from our designated target. From that distance, I cannot discern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm, recent carry is indicated. Just over here. Damn it, where is it? Ah, here it is. Speculation as to Tabanus Atratus is confirmed. Lots of rumors rising here. About to have the suit on the Italian carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a Corleus Minus or Mule Deer. of the larger muscle masses indicate infection from the constraint HB. We'll take sample to confirm. Well, look at it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what would that been something? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some so, civilians, that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive, What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, with Nero camp, Protocol 2 7 were states. states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero, for goddamn limb. All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here the hard way. 
crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound, she, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again, how did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Is. 